So now we're going back to that communication idea and we're thinking about the strategy. So the long-term ambitions that you want to put together to connect that buyer persona, so the uh, person who will be recruiting, developing business with you, to the business model, the thing that you want to achieve. Because we've defined the things that you want to talk about and want to do in your professional life. And now we've uh, defined who will be potentially looking at, uh, at you. Now we need to connect the two. To connect these two things, the buyer persona and your business objective, we need three things. Central to these is content. Content is essentially the things that we have picked up on in terms of your keyword research. So whenever you have identified certain keyword areas or certain aspects of jobs, attributes, we now need to flesh it out. What is it that you will be wanting to talk about? So for example, if you know that you're passionate about uh, art or paintings, so why not show it in, in some of the things that you'll be doing online? So once we have uh, narrowed down the content areas and we've tried to think how you will be communicating this on a regular basis, because if you are thinking about personal branding online, we mentioned earlier, it is an ongoing process. We now need to think about how often you will be communicating and what it is you'll be doing. So the next thing that we need to uh, really uh, spell out in this uh, buyer persona spring or your digital marketing strategy is what kind of channels will you be using? As I mentioned earlier, it is really helpful for you to try and think of less is more. So if you think that one of the key channels that you'll be doing is maintaining your personal blog, okay? Make sure that blog is then uh, frequent, frequently updated. Think about how this blog will be accessible to other people. If you decide this is going to be your LinkedIn profile, it's also absolutely fine. Because a network such as LinkedIn does give you an option to blog, it gives you an option to network, and also gives you an option to share short updates about your professional passions and things that you have developed. So the last stage that we haven't thought about so far is data. And ultimately, whatever you do online, one of the best things that you can do online is that you get an option of feedback. So essentially, if you have your own blog, how many people have looked at that post or how many people have visited that page will be really useful for you. So data in this case gives you a chance to think about who will be looking at your content, how many times do you think we'll be looking at this? And ultimately, if the prime ambitions of your personal branding online is to get that job, is how many interviews or how many uh, job interactions have you had as a consequence of your personal branding online? Buyer Persona Spring is a digital marketing concept that gives you a structure for long-term uh, personal brand online communication. So on one side, you have your business objectives or the things that you want to achieve. On the other side, you have your buyer personas or the people that you want to impress. So now we need to think about the content that you need to create and populate on your uh, channels and how you will measure the success of that communication. So the five key ingredients of the buyer persona spring are business objective, a buyer persona, content, channels and data.